Hey guys, uh, so today we're gonna mount this and I guess review this video sec video security solutions small uh, articulating wall mount for flat panel TVs and monitors. The model is ML12B. So as you can see this here, we got five steps, locate the wood studs, drill pilot holes, mount wall plate, separate wall plate and TV plate, okay, attach TV to the plate, hang the TV to the mount and then adjust TV display, okay. Now to mount this, here's the other side of the box, here we go. To mount it, we're gonna use these toggle bolts, and they go inside the drywall here. Then you open them up, and this bar here provides a really nice uh, um, kind of weight distributed or distributed weight um, mount. So you can hang a lot of weight just in the drywall. So in this case, though, I'm gonna mount these inside the the metal studs, okay? So you drill a hole, insert it this way, then you slide this. Let's take a look what's in the box here. It's an actual swing arm. It's very nice. Good quality. Okay. Got a bunch of all these accessories. So we go from the soft tap screws, concrete anchors. Washers M412, M512, M612, and a spinner wrench. Okay. Also have some caps and instructions. Now keep in mind I did open this box before. Installation instructions. So now what we have to do is measure out the place for the bottom hole on the bracket. So the best way is to put the bracket against the first hole we drilled. Make sure it's vertical by any means. Either use a level, eyeball it if you can. Now there's some adjustability after the fact for the angle, but you just want to get this right as much as you can.
Looks like I need a different set of washers because these are too big and fall through the screws included on the toggle bolts. Okay, so start by putting the screw on the top that holds the bracket at least in place. And then you can screw in a little bit with the screwdriver. Just make sure it holds. Um, in the end I use a drill because that's much easier when you're just a one-man guy. So I put that screw in. Um, but notice what I'm doing here. I didn't notice um, I mounted the bracket upside down and the reason why it's upside down is that the uh, the TV or the monitor plate attaches the wrong way it only attaches one way so you have to make sure that you have the the bracket upright so you'll notice here I actually realized that the plate is wrong so what I'm gonna have to do is uh, take off the bracket again and I'll leave it here in a video so um, so that you can see how easy it is to make this uh, mistake I can just for fast forward a minute and, and you know go to the right part so I'm taking off the uh, the monitor plate notice here attached the wrong way it should kinda catch on the top and then swing down so I quickly remove the bracket now it's really easy because you just remove it and flip it to the other side uh, and I really like these long brackets because they uh, they let you adjust the monitor or the TV a lot and they give you access in the back for, you know to change the cabling or the power or anything I don't like the TV brackets that go flat against the wall and just tilt up and down. I really like the swing arm brackets. They cost just a bit more. I mean, all these TV brackets got really, really cheap. Uh, they pretty much all come from China, but they're all decent quality. Uh, I think they have to be tested somewhat. So uh, just try to get this level. I kind of eyeball it here. Um, just kind of put some tension under so it stays in place. Walk back, visually inspect, or use a, use a level or or measure the distance between the bracket and and the ceiling just to make sure it's kind of even. Now, once you hang something heavy on this, it'll kind of sag a little bit. Um, but there's always a little bit of adjustment on the screws you can do there. Um, so if you even if you don't get it perfect, you can always adjust it later quite easily. And now see how the top plate mounts. It just mounts on the top of those uh, like two posts, swings down, and it secures on with the screw on the side. So now uh, we're gonna install the bracket to the back of the monitor. Take off the screws. Yep, take off the screws. This, make put sure the, this is pointing up. Yep, put the video plate in. You make sure the top hooks or the holes are on top. Insert with the new screws. Start at M412. Yeah, make sure you don't use screws that are too long because you could damage your monitor. And gently just screw those in. What I'm hanging here is a 24 inch 4K monitor by Dell. And now we can just basically uh, slap it on really quick and easily. Because with the hooks on top and the holes, it just aligns quickly and then it just snaps on. Yeah, right those, right there. So that's how you hook it up. Uh, plug in the, uh, what is this, the HDMI. Come on, Tom. Tom, figure out where this goes, man. And then a power cable. Alright, uh, we'll manage those cables later. Just hang it on the wall. So we're almost done with this project. This is pretty much it. Uh, just put in the screw here to this little TV wall plate, mount it or secure it to the wall plate. And voila, we're all set up. You can adjust the tilt. You can swing it out to the front. You can watch it. Hey, so again, this was Tom. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, 
I hope you come back soon when I make more videos. Thank you.